The ASC 2000 version 2 communication test set runs in two modes, exchange and task. Exchange mode operation is similar to operation of ASC 2000 version 1. Exchange mode is message oriented. Messages to send or simulate are selected and configured from the exchange list. Task mode is new for version 2. Task mode works off a of device database. Each device definition includes a protocol and a set of input points. Messages are sent by selecting a device, a task group such as acquire static data, and a task such as all static data. When the task is started, messages are automatically built to complete the selected task based on the device's protocol and point configuration. Message editing as an exchange mode is not required. This set of videos discusses task mode operation. The ASC 2000 is always in one of two modes, exchange or task. The current mode is shown at the top of the screen. You can switch modes from the mode pull-on list as shown. Task mode is run from the task view. If not shown, it can be enabled from the view pull-on list. The first step is to configure a device. A configured device is saved in an SQL database and available whenever the ASC 2000 is restarted. Most recently enabled devices, if any, are shown at the top of the task queue. To add or modify a device, right click is shown and select Configure RTUs. To configure a new device, enter a unique device name. Select the protocol from the protocol pull-on list. Enter a device's primary address and select Next. All input points at the device should be entered using as many rows as needed. This is not required for protocols with a message having the ability to request all points at the device such as class 0 requests for DNP or general interrogation for IEC protocols. Configurations need to be entered for protocols without that capability such as Conatel or for all protocols running the ASC 2000 NR2 simulation mode. It is good practice to complete the step in all cases. Select finish when the point definition process is over. The selected device is now highlighted along with a list of task categories and specific tasks for the selected category. The next video will describe how to select and execute tasks.